Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome to my podcast. I'm your host and guide, Will Caminata, and I'm here to help you awaken, heal, and expand your consciousness. Today, I'm going to guide a short visualization for you to discover which Claire, or in other words, which psychic ability is more predominant in you. If you want to learn more about the seven Claire's, I have a whole episode just about them, so I suggest that you watch or listen to that first. It's episode 59, Awaken Your Psychic Abilities, The Seven Clairs, and I will leave a link in the description or a card up here in the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel or to my podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcast, and follow me on Instagram at Geet Will, where I post exclusive daily content. And just before I guide the short visualization, it's important to know that, first of all, we all have psychic abilities. They may just be dormant. And this is something that I talk about in the episode 59. Um, number two, we may have more than one or even all of them in different levels. For example, you can have a strong clairvoyance and clairaudience and have a little bit of all the other five. And number three, you can develop them and your predominant clair may change over the years as you heal and as you evolve in your spiritual journey. So let's get to our practice. Just find a comfortable place where you can sit, take your time to stay present, and let's relax by taking three deep, long breaths. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. One more time. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. One more time, inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. And now in this beautiful, relaxed state, I invite you to focus your attention on your sensations. Feel the weight of your body on the chair or the floor or your bed. Feel the rise and fall of your breath, your heartbeat. Now I want you to focus on your third eye, the energy point in between your eyebrows. And let's take a deep breath into it to activate it. And this is your mind's screen. It's now on. And so I want you to visualize yourself walking into a kitchen. This kitchen can be your home or another kitchen. However you want, I want you to look at that kitchen. Observe the environment. and find a basket of fruit. And as you visualize that basket, I want you to spot a lemon. Look at that lemon. Look at its colors. Now go ahead and take that lemon with your hand. 
and feel the texture of this lemon feel the weight how does it feel And now I want you to put this lemon on the counter and take a knife with your right hand feel the knife, feel the grip look at the lemon and cut it in half and listen to the sound of the knife cutting the lemon can you smell the scent coming from the open lemon now take the half of the lemon in your hands and you can physically bring your hand to your mouth now and imagine you're squeezing the lemon and sucking its juice how does it taste put it back on the counter and you now have a brilliant idea of how you can use this lemon for a recipe what is it that you're going to make with it Now take a deep breath and bring your your awareness to your body and to the present moment. You can roll your shoulders, roll your arms, your neck, wiggle your toes and your fingers gently. And whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. Okay, welcome back. So you may have noticed some sensations, some more strongly than others. Um, Were you able to notice which ones were clearer to you? Were you able to clearly visualize the lemon, the kitchen, the knife? So if that's the case, then that would be clairvoyance. Your clairvoyance is probably your most predominant clair. Did you hear any sounds? So this would be clairaudient. And again, maybe both of these were more strongly for you. So maybe you are more clairvoyant and clairaudient more predominantly were you able to perhaps feel the texture of the lemon so that would be clairsentience did you smell the lemon this would be clairaliance were you able to taste the lemon even though it was just a visualization just a meditation so if if so, that would be Claire Gustin's. And did you have any downloads, any insights, any ideas while visualizing it? If so, this would be Claire Cognizant. Or it's also possible that you may not have felt anything, and that's okay too. Don't be discouraged. If that's the case, just come back to this practice and you will start noticing your sensations more and more. So this is a great way that you can begin to practice awakening some of your abilities. So what you can get from this practice, it's knowing which ability comes more naturally to you and start developing them through a consistent practice of meditation and self-awareness. 
If you're looking for a more individual guidance, you can book a session with me or rent any of my past breathwork and meditation classes. I, I have one specifically for psychic abilities and I will leave the links in the description. And again, if you want to learn more about the seven clairs a little bit more in depth, check the previous video or episode 59. Let me know in the comments which sensation or sensations you felt more strongly. If you think that one of your friends may want to try this visual visualization, please share this video with them. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Gwill. I am also on the app Insight Timer. You can find me under my name, Will Caminata. Thank you so much. And as always, keep shining your light, keep your heart open, and let love lead the way. I love you. See you in the next episode.